Welcome to Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. In this video, we're going to be looking at two Yamaha Bs. Not the bzz, bzz, bzz buzzing kind, <laughs> no. These are two B1 upright pianos, and I don't know if you noticed something, and I'm a pretty short guy, but this is a really small, super compact upright piano. If you'll notice, in a lot of uprights you'll have a forward leg over here. There's no leg here, there's a nice open space, compact design, in fact, the depth is much more uh, compact. I, I keep saying the same word over again, but that's what this is. It is a small, upright piano. It has a, more of a fuller soundboard than you would find in a spinet, which is even smaller. So it gives you a fuller piano, but in a compact size without any legs. Kind of a nice floating keyboard modern look over here. A wonderful, wonderful piano that's perfect for small spaces. We sometimes nickname this a condominium piano. This is a continental design, the one without forward legs like this. And let's take a listen to what this piano sounds like. It's really, really fun. Nice, fun, compact, smaller instrument. It's Again, it's great if you have limited space, but you want to have a nice, fun, acoustic piano to work on. Now, this is just a, an acoustic-only version. Now let's hop over to this other B, and I've got some very, very special surprises to show you with that one. Okay, so now I'm at the second Yamaha B1 upright piano. Notice anything different? Ah, we've got some headphones. Check this out. There's a whole control panel here underneath the keyboard over here. Now, this is a full acoustic piano. I can play this just like I played the other piano. Okay? Check this out. When I push down the middle pedal and shift it to the left and lock it over, now listen. It becomes a silent instrument, and that's where the headphones come in. You can actually practice quietly. This is perfect, again, uh, kind of one of, if you're in an apartment or in a room where you don't want to disturb anybody else, you still want to get your practicing done, you can just plug these headphones in and play, and a digital sound of a piano will come through. What's kind of cool, here, let me see, if I'm, I'm going to actually play this, I'm not sure if I can get this to work. Uh, let's see. I'm going to see if I can get these headphones to be over my lavalier microphone. Let's see. Let's give this a try, okay? See if you can actually hear the piano. Yeah? So maybe you can hear that through these microphones. Obviously, it sounds a lot better through the headphones than kind of done this way. But you get the idea. A digital version of the piano can be played through here. And with this control panel, you can actually even record the digital silent version and play it back, control the volume, control the reverb if you like, the echo. Really, really nice function. We call this the B1 Silent, the Yamaha B1 Silent Upright Piano. Terrific. Again, nice sleek modern legless design over here, floating keyboard, continental design, and this wonderful silent option where you can practice any time of day or night and record yourself and learn from that and still get the benefits of a full keyboard. Acoustic piano as well. The best of acoustic, best of digital worlds all together. And by the way, this control box does enable you to use this acoustic piano as a MIDI controller. So if you wanted to con connect this to computers to write music or to do other things where you can connect to programs like GarageBand, you can use this acoustic piano in that manner just to write the notes out and control and com compose your own music on a computer. So very versatile, compact, easy to fit anywhere kind of a piano. Wonderful, wonderful design. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to send me your comments and questions in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to our newsletter so that we can let you know whenever we have new videos and articles. 
I'm Hugh Sung for Cunningham Piano, and I'll see you next time.